For more than 50 years, Wolmanized outdoor wood has been the standard for pressure treated wood. But many people are unfamiliar with the treatment process, labels, and best practices for using treated lumber. The treatment process takes place in a large horizontal pressure vessel, often referred to as the treating cylinder. Bundles of wood are placed onto trams and moved along tracks into the cylinder, which is then sealed to allow the pressure treatment process to begin. The wood treated in the cylinder at one time is called a charge. In the control room, the treating technician uses our TreatRight computer system to prepare for and then monitor the treatment process. He programs the system by putting in information including the type and amount of wood, how much preservative is required to be left in the wood after treatment, and selects the parameters for the treatment process. Once all the information is entered, the technician starts the process, which allows the TreatRight computer to control the charge in accordance with the preset instructions. Depending on the type of preservative and wood being treated, the treatment process can last anywhere from 30 minutes to 12 hours. Air is first removed from the cylinder and wood by applying a vacuum. The cylinder is then filled with wood preservative solution. Pumps are used to raise the pressure to force the solution into the wood. When adequate solution has been forced into the wood to ensure proper penetration, the pressure is released and the solution in the cylinder is transferred back into the storage tank. A final vacuum is then used to pull excess treating solution out of the wood which is also transferred to the storage tank. The wood is removed from the cylinder and the charge is complete. It is important to note that wood treatment is a closed process. The tanks and drip pads capture all excess wood preservative, which is reused for subsequent charges. Quality control testing is an important part of the treatment process. 20 cores are taken from each charge by the treating plant personnel for required measurements of the preservative penetration and retention. Independent third-party agencies sample charges at least once a month to verify the plant quality control results. Preservative penetration and retention must comply with recognized standards before wood can be labeled with information required by building codes. If treated wood fails to meet the standards, it must be retreated or sold without the required information on the label. Wood is most commonly labeled using plastic tags that are stapled to one end of each piece of treated wood. The tags provide information on the preservative treatment and guidance for how the wood is intended to be used. This information is explained further in the Know Your Wood informational video.